I thought you were dropping back in. Nah. <laughs> was like, that's good round two. Was round just, two. But you want to keep going. Yeah, that was that's good. The, that's the cool thing about these looper things, isn't it? Hello. We all know Pete likes a looper. Oh, I love a looper. Welcome back to Anderson's TV. I am Pete. I'm Rabia. Rabia. It's good to be back it's with good you. To be back. It's, it's been almost a while. good, isn't it? It's been. How long has it been? Since we filmed videos. Since we filmed videos. About eight weeks, it's maybe longer. When was the last time we did it? I can't I remember, remember, but it was, remember. it was a while back. I think it was even Gretz back then, wasn't it? Was it? Probably. Maybe it was. Anyway, we're looking at some new limited edition Gretz today. We certainly are. Um, I feel like These when I'm talking like this, I feel like I'm watching somebody else's video with two people on YouTube that's doing the same <laughs> as us. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know what I'm you like, mean. oh, hang on. That sounds, I'm sounding like somebody else I'm watching on YouTube. But maybe it's I'm just knowing what myself. you're going to say before you say it because it's like a video that you've watched before, but it's not. It's a bit early. <laughs> a bit early morning deep stuff. Ooh, anyway, man, anyway, LTD edition. Limited edition, Gretz. Um, so we've got two sort of affordable ones from the Streamliner series, and we've got two from the professional range here. Mm -hmm. uh, all limited editions, I assume it's when it's gone, it's gone type thing. Okay. Um, I think I'll just start with this one here. I mean, glorious. Just going to swap that around there. <laughs> uh, yeah. These numbers always confuse me. This is a G2657 TG MDSPH. Wow. It's, um, it's got a spruce center block inside mm -hmm. it, right? Uh, it's got some BT25 Broadtron pickups on it. You've got these arrow knobs on it. You've got a laurel fingerboard, um, kind of a maple, uh, sorry, a, um, 
a laminate construction. Love the back of that. The back and sides on that. that's lovely. Look at that! Mm. Look at Will you look at that? Will you look at that? I mean, the colour here, Classy. I think it's called Green Sapphire something, something, something. Right. Gold hardware. Four ninety nine. Yeah, no, that's a banger for that they kind of... They slam it out, yeah, that's these, ridiculous. the guys, don't they? Everything regrets all the time. You just go, it's a... Sh I mean, this is Malcolm Young, uh, may he rest in peace, kind of yeah, rock yeah. and roll type territory, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, Bixby on there. Um, Bixby. Bixby. Uh, you got the good old-fashioned uh, master volume, tone control, volume for each pick up there so I've kind of learned that now yeah. after doing about 50,000 press <laughs> videos yeah. not knowing what's going on but so it's quite it's quite customizable in the sound isn't it um, but shall I play absolutely please do that okay so tones neck pick up everything on full G chord clean DP40 from victory Nice. Just a nice tone, uh, middle position. Nice tone. I mean, it's it's got that Gretschy kind of brought the filter, filter tone. Warm. Vibe. It's a warm it's just sound. Just a warm sound. I always run that everything on twelve o'clock, apart from the reverb. Yeah. Um, which gives it just a, you know, kind of what you get with that, you know. Oh, we want a bit of gain from the... Let's go to the protein, the blue side. Yeah, warms it up a bit. Ah, oh, what is it? Yeah. Here we go, middle position. And that's when you can start blending in those things, isn't it? Turn out of the <laughs> neck. For that bit. Great. That's uh, Dane and the protein in there. And I mean, it's just, that's it four sounds nine great. to nine. It sounds wicked. I mean, if you're looking for a guitar, easy to play, nice feeling neck. Not super roll fingerboard because it's got that old fashioned kind of mm. feeling and vibe to it. Um, I think there might even be tense on here, which I like. The tension is quite tight. The pickups, right? Yeah. Are they, wait, are they just normal humbuckers with a cover on? I know that they've got They're their own name, the broad yeah. thing, it's like their pickup, but I mean, is it just a radiator cover on a humbucker? Go fish. Yeah, I'm curious. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm sure somebody in the... Uh, we'll put it in the description below, and if you want to watch anything... Oh, and while you're down there, below, just please like and subscribe. Flick the bell. Yeah, flick the bell notification bell down below. Yeah. Anyway, I mean, that's the uh, G2657, uh, 499. Links below for that. Beast. Gorgeous, isn't it? I really like that. It's great, yeah. A good entry in the, into the Gretz world of delicious toneness. There you go. Yeah, come on, move on. Right. Let's have some more tones. I'm holding, <laughs> I've got the inspection card here to give you the model. Actually, I could look inside the guitar. Yeah, that's. This is the Gretsch, it's upside down. 22, isn't it? G2622TG P90. Yeah. So obviously, P90 loaded, which is wicked because, I mean, P90 is like, in my opinion, the unsung hero of pickups. Oh, I love a P90. Because everybody's like, oh, I love a P90, but like, they're not like the most popular pickup. No. Anyway. It's like a fat single coil, isn't it? I love them. It's so, like a tele telecaster, fat single telecaster. Yeah. I'm just talking, rambling on here, sorry man. Telefelly. 
Um, Tell you, Tobby. So, so <laughs> yeah. yeah, this is the, the Gretsch Streamliner, and as I said, it's got a massive long code name for it, but it's a wonderful guitar. This is in gun metal. Which Satin! I like the finish. Ooh, it's ooh. A bit of bit of metallic going on there. Oh, that's good. Um, obviously, you've got a Bigsby. We've got Laurel fretboard, bound uh, fretboard as yes, well. Yes, yes, yes. Um, Lock and lace. Yeah. Gold yeah. hardware looks great on these guitars, doesn't it? I really like the gold hardware as well. Yeah. Overall, it's a real looker. Um, yeah. I do have one, one small thing, which is that I like volume knobs these and stuff knobs, on your right? guitar. I don't so much like the ones on this guitar. The arrowhead head knobs, I think yeah. they're called. They should have been on there. Yeah, I think they'll match that, the, the P90s. Yeah, I, I agree. I agree. But anyway. Anyway. Apart from that. But your guitar's bigger, so you get a little bit more for your money, don't that's you? That's it. Center block <laughs> construction as well. Yeah. Um, so anyway, yeah, that's how it sounds. And again, you've got the same as on Pete's guitar. You've got the two um, blend controls of the pickup volumes. So you've got tone and you've got master volume there. Master volume. So I'm master. running into the V140. Yeah. We are victorying it up today. Yes, we are. And got the Volante in the loop. I've got Pete's special Cality 76, the uh, um, Revival Drive Compact, and the 29 pedals Wamp. Wamp. Yeah, Wamp. that is a wicked pedal. We will do a video on that. Yes, we point. will. Absolutely. But first of all, we'll go neck pickup straight in without yes. any pedals on. Nice. Very nice. Very Middle nice. position. Very nice. And the bridge pickup. So that gives you an idea of how they sound straight in. Very nice. Now let me throw on some stuff. Here comes the wamp. That's right. such a good pedal, then, isn't it? It is. It's... And you don't, I don't know what it does. It just, it's just got some things on it. And you go, what is that? And, and you it just looks put it on cool. and it sounds great. You know? Best yeah. color of a pedal I've seen in a long time. I like the way that pedals do stuff. It doesn't really give you an idea of what it does, but when you turn it on, it sounds great. That's all we really That's want. That's all we want. Right, next up, let's throw on the uh, compressor. And then the uh, oh. compact hot rod deluxe thing. What is it? Hot rod compact deluxe. Just awesome. What a that, that's all you need in a pedal ball, that isn't it? Just those four. Yeah. I mean, it's not cheap. No. This is, is the, this is by that, far the cheapest part of the rig. This yeah. is four nine nine. Four nine nine. Both for both of these limited edition. So get the Wildlife Heart links below. Let's move on, man. What a steal. Right, Rebeer, broadcast the time. Two tone. Take this one out. Wow. Lake Placid. Sonic Blue. Fair play. Just. It goes Beautiful. really well together, actually. It works really well, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, with the neck as well. You got locking. So this is from the professional series, which means you've got such things that locking tuners, mm -hmm. strap lock on mm -hmm. there. You've got a string through. What is a B7P Bixby where you have you can put the string through instead of trying to hook oh my it on God. that little. That, it's so much easier. Um, that's the best thing I've ever heard. It's really good, isn't it? Uh, same volume, master volume, volume, volume for each pickup, and a tone and a three-way selector switch. Laminate construction with a center block down the middle. Just, I mean, and they come with a, you know, a proper case and everything, which is here. Oh, the TKL case and all yeah, that. Yeah, they come with all the good stuff. They're not cheap, they're 2,500 quid, right about that, links below for this, but you do get something I mean, cool. it's a proper. It's a proper guitar. Yeah. I mean, this is, this is, if you, and it's got that professional vibe, which means it's a bit, it's more contemporary with the neck and the, all the bits and pieces mm. on it, you know, so it's not that, I mean, I love this. Yeah. And you can string it through. You're not trying to That's bend insane. that thing around. I hate restringing Bigsby's. You do it one string at a time. Yeah. And then with a capo on it to hold on to the, to the tension. That's how I do it. So put a capo on. That's such a good idea. Do one idea. string and then you bend it in and then you get one string on, you tighten that up, tune it up, 
do the next string, tune it up, do the next string. That's such a good idea because there's me and I'm like holding it and like holding it and just like, if it it keeps falling off and you're like, ah! And then the spring falls out and the whole thing and and then you're like, ah! Just put it back in the case without strings on it. Yeah. But these are, you know, not cheap as I said, but let's have a listen to what they sound like because it's worth the money in my humble opinion. So just before I start playing, I got a 60, uh, Broughtron BT65 and a high sensitive Filtertron in the in the back here. And here is a G chord. Oh, bloody hell, Harry! So much <laughs> bloody hell, Harry! <laughs> I mean, it's just another two grand, but... I think that's worth two grand (laughs) when I just play that chord. That was a bit of a tremolo from MXR, Wonderful. and here's the neck, uh, the bridge. No. It's completely clean, ladies and gentlemen. That's a lot of wow. power in that. That's very sensitive. Let's go uh, protein. A lot of power on that man. Play this little. That is great, man. This is and it plays so nice. I mean, it really plays nice. I have to say that about the Gretsch range of guitars. Whenever you play them, you notice that the action's like almost perfect on every single guitar you get. Yeah. Like it's low, but like not stupid low. Yeah. Always feels good, and I always really enjoy how. I always enjoy the fretboards on the like pro, yeah. pro level and upwards yeah. uh, Gretches. I don't, I don't know what it is, what kind of quality would they get, but it just looks epic. It's an amazing, they do an amazing job of setting these things up. They do. I keep saying they even do. these ones, the 400 quid, yeah. it's probably the best p- packaged guitars that I've ever seen. The way when you open the box up, you know, yeah. and you take it out and it's in this old little box and it's all got this stuff. So it, does, it looks like there's care taken by setting them up and everything. I mean, if you want something like, a little bit like with a tremolo and, and, a, and a bit of a compressor and some, uh, some booner. Square blue, yeah, bay, brabu. How does it do with the Vespa from uh, Beatronics? Yes. Well, yes, it man. does well. I mean, it does well. That's great. Let's have some tones from you. I know it's the same guitar, but it's got <laughs> it sounds more pink. So yeah, this is exactly the same, except <laughs> it's, it has shell pink and black. That's a good combo. Yeah, shell pink, pink and black. Shell pill. Shell pill. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, it's the same guitar. One thing I was going to comment on is how intensely like 
snug the tune tuners are. That's right. Do you know what I mean? They're it's quite small, aren't they? They're small, but also very, very accurate. They feel lovely, though. So that's what you want. Um, mm. But yeah, say, uh, I've got the V140 rig, same guitar, bridge, uh, neck pickup. So pink, that's cool. Says, pink sounds better. It does. Wamp and compressor. Wow. That's better. That's 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 exactly what you need. That's the tone, isn't it? That. Yeah. But really, really anyway. spanky almost. Yeah, really, that, I love the sound of that pickup. The back pickup is yeah. just wicked, isn't it? And now if I throw on the Hot Rod Compact. outro jam for this video I guess wasn't it yeah I, I think, think so it was. anyway thank you very much for watching links are below and uh, <laughs> shut the front door it's great to have you back you there made you my day today so anyway oh. links below more videos up there like and subscribe go and find Rabia on Instagram as well and check him out he does loads of school stuff and on his own channel as well thanks man. see you next time bye that was good wasn't it yeah hell that was good he's a great these aren't they nah, yeah yeah you can't help but just go <laughs>